Your host, Mpo Tseidu. On Tuesday, the SIBC leadership presented the skills audio, audit report in Parliament, which led to a lot of negative media reports. However, SIBC Board Chairperson Zandile Shabalala has dismissed those reports as effectively inaccurate as the report was submitted in July 2013 and only presented to Parliament on Tuesday. How bad are things at the SABC? My guest is SABC Board Chairperson Ms. Andile Shabalala. Chairperson, welcome to the show. It's Thank you. Indeed, quite a great honor to have you. Now, the media reports then go <coughs> on to say 60% of the SABC executive and senior managers do not meet the minimum strategic thinking skills for executive. That would be bad. Is that for now, as in like 2014, February? Thank you very much, Mpo. First point to correct mm -hmm. is that SABC Chairperson is not thwarting the report. Mm -hmm. However, I have to mention that the report went to Parliament before it got interrogated by the executive uh, 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 officials of SABC, mm -hmm. which is an anomaly number one. But be as it may, Parliament as and when it requires information, they have to get the information. Yeah. So the report was submitted by PwC, and the report has been given to Parliament uh, for debate with SABC prior to the report being interrogated to check the authenticity of the report and the factual uh, uh, reporting yeah. on the findings. So it has come to the public naturally because the, the, the Parliament is exposing the yeah. information by inviting other sources, and I think it's an interesting topic for print media. But I just want to make a statement that the report was instituted a few years ago. Mm. Two years down the line, there is a lot of good that has happened in SABC. The demeaning statements that the SABC officials can't think is totally unacceptable. But it's print media, what do you do? But we want to give assurance to our employees that we have great respect for them. We have great respect for the work that they've done. We are working together to, shape, to give shape to most of the problems at SABC. But it's not all uh, doom. There is very good work that uh, SABC has done. I'll mention just a few. We have managed the World Cup the 2010 World Cup, with the kind of people that exist in SABC who've done credible work. Mm -hmm. We have handled many international events, including the, the event which attracted a lot of positive commentary from both in South Africa and abroad. And if we can get those comments from people who are not even residing in this country, but people in this country vilify the work of the SABC employees, then there's a lot we have to question as a country mm -hmm. about how patriotic are we and whether or we want SABC to, to strike. Mm -hmm. I'll cite an example. Ikasa was among other people that were lashed in, in. But do you say anything about Ikasa? No, because SABC now is projected as competition number one for print media. And I don't know why, because these things could be complementary. But that is the state of affairs. So, are, are you saying that the report is, um, well, outdated, so to say? Well, one, I think it is outdated because a lot of developments after the report has been issued, mm. uh, 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 you know, and needs to be corrected. Mm. There was a vacuum at a high, top echelon of officials in the SABC. A lot of executives have been employed and a lot of credible executives have been employed. And not that SABC did not have credible people below that. Mm. The observation by the PWC report yeah. has to be interrogated point by point. One of the things that personally I'm concerned about, what tools did they use to check to make an assessment of competences? because there are competencies like psychometric test, yeah. which has been thwarted many years ago, because that was a system used in a racially divided society to marginalize certain people. Yeah. So I'm very interested to understand the intricacies or methodologies that have been deployed by PwC to confirm certain 
uh, findings in their report. But how, Jefferson, how did this report then end up in Parliament before, uh, I mean, you could interrogate it? Because like you're saying, I guess it would be normal for you to be given an opportunity to go through uh, the report and, you know, voice your opinion yeah. as, as a corporation. Absolutely, Mpo, you're 100% correct. Um, <clears throat> I have picked up there are some shortcomings in terms of the delay because the report was actually handed over. It was late. I have to mention that. Mm -hmm. The expectation was that the report was going to be ready, I think, sometime May last year or something like that. Mm -hmm. The interim uh, uh, board went to parliament and reported that the report is going to be slightly delayed. Mm -hmm. And the report finally landed in SABC. The report was uh, seen by a few, but they, uh, they were waiting to make sure that a new board takes over and interrogate the report together with the executive to arrive at a, at a decision. So there have been delays from our side as well in terms of management and executive meeting mm. and interrogating the report. But that does not justify the demeaning statements of saying people are, uh, you know, they are not thinking. I mean, it's the worst insult. Actually, I wanted you know. to say that, um, you know, are we being led by people who are not thinking? Yeah. That is the issue. Do you think, uh, perhaps like you're suggesting, that this, there seems to be a, an agenda, a hidden agenda or a vendetta against the SABC? Why would that be the case if indeed it is not just, you know, competition? Well, you know, there are different parties involved in different things. And I'll cite an example. There are research companies who told us that President Zuma won't be president. I'm talking about reputable, top recommended research companies. Mm -hmm. And Zuma became the president. Whether we liked it or we did not like it, Zuma is the current state president of South Africa. Now, even in consulting companies, there are consulting companies that are credible, that supply efficient information, and by no means am I suggesting that the PwC is inefficient. Yeah. But we all need to work with the executives to interrogate line by line of the presentations that have been presented. The board, by the way, had a very brief presentation just for the group executive to highlight to the board what is going to be presented in parliament. Okay. So I can't say we have had enough time to run through the report with the executives to make sure. I mean, there were people in the organization who alluded to the fact that if a person is a producer and you are asked a question uh, uh, to say, if I give you 100 million, what would you use out of it? I mean, a person is not, for crying out loud, the person is a producer. He has no vested interest as yet to the, to the business, maybe in future, but... So the relevancy of the interviews mm -hmm. also is something that we will interrogate and okay. see that, was it a fair process? Did it, did it get the, the desired results? Okay. Because they are unintended consequences okay. if the information is not true. All right, we're going to take a break now. When we return, I just want us to talk about the financial stability of uh, the SABC. This is Question Time you're watching. Please don't go away. We'll return shortly.